Hello and welcome to Jigsy Shed. So for this project I decided to take a piece of ash that has been seasoning for well over a year now and turn a little bowl from it that I can texture with the Dremel and at this point I didn't know yet if I wanted to highlight the texture with paints or with stains but um, yeah you'll see what I did later. So for the rough turning process and shaping the piece I am just using my Robert Sorby half inch bowl gouge. just deciding on the overall height of the piece and then also creating the tenon so that I can reverse mount the ball. So I decided to re-sand the piece because there's a bit of punkiness, a bit of tear out that was um, shown up by the um, sealer being applied to the piece. So I'm just taking it back and start starting the process again, but hopefully the original sealer had just given some strength to those um, weaker parts as well. And then I'm just using the Chestnut Products Nye Web just to denip the piece and get it ready for using Yorkshire grit and then my crystalline like wax. So now that I've reverse mounted the piece, I am just flattening off the face and giving a slight curve to the edges of the rim um, before um, doing some texture. So using the 114 carving bit, I tried a few different techniques to create some texture and mainly um, tied with her lathe running but this just created some really small dimples and I wanted to either use ebonizing lacquer or black stain to highlight the texture, sand it away and then apply a colour but this just um, would have sanded completely away and wouldn't have been effective so I then decided to start running it in an arc but as you will see in a moment I lost control of this and the tool run right right around the outer edge damaging the um, work that I'd already um, done on the outside so I had to strip that completely back uh, re-sand and start pretty much that whole finishing process again um, as you will see as the video goes on so after trying with the lathe running a bit more I then proceeded, proceeded to stop the lathe and uh, make some random carvings into the piece which gave deeper etchings and um, gave a much better effect as you will see later.
So I settled on using Chestnut Products Black Stain to create the background um, and here I just made sure that the whole textured surface was covered in black uh, before sanding it back. So I'm using the Crimson Guitars water-based vibrant stunning stains, the colour is Oxblood and I was initially going to use it with other colours but the red was just so deep in colour and worked so nicely on the black that um, I just kept it with that and there was some lovely effect with the Chatoyans as well in the wood. But um, yeah I forgot to start the camera when I started the detailing work but I'm just using the skew chisel to add a few detail lines. and. I really need to just get a new detailing tool just to make that job a little bit neater than it was. So I used the um, aerosol sanding sealer just because I didn't want the stain to bleed um, and once that was set I um, used uh, three coats of lacquer to uh, finish the outside uh, before hollowing out the inside and finishing off the bottom. Once I prepared the um, bottom of the bowl, it was just a lovely area just to add a bit of texture using the Simon Hope mini texturing tool. Well, thank you for joining me in Jigshi Shed. So there's a little bowl that I made. It's five by two inches, and I had a lot of fun making this, despite the um, incident with the Dremel tool. But um, yeah, I'm really loving the um, coloring from the vibrant stains from Crimson Guitars, um, just giving it a really nice effect on top of the um, textured surface with the black um, in there. So we'll definitely be doing some more of those. Um, but yeah, and then obviously just a little bit of detailing with the Simon Hope tool there. But I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. And I will see you next time. Take care. <laughs>